What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out some items that I ordered off of Timu. They finally arrived, and so far I'm very impressed with the time it took to receive the items. I only ordered this stuff two weeks ago, and it came not only all in one package, which I thought was amazing, because when I ordered from Wish before, everything was shipped individually, and yes, some stuff did get lost in the mail. All of it was shipped together for free, free shipping, and that included tracking, which is something that's kind of unheard of. So I was very excited to see that it arrived today. I wanna to check everything out, so let's get started. Plain box here doesn't really say what it is. It is kind of squished here, so hopefully whatever is in, inside is okay. We're gonna open it up here and see what this is. Oh, well, that's cool. So this is the little rotary tool that we ordered. That was only $15. Now looking at my area at Rotary Tools, they're anywhere from $50 to $75, depending on how good a quality one you want. I just wanted to start um, like as a beginner carving stone and wood because I absolutely love stone carvings and to try things out. So it did include some of the bits. Uh, has some of the saw attachments in there as well, which is really handy. And some of these are expensive in the stores. It obviously comes with a pretty nice charger, it looks very durable. And then the rotary tool itself. So just a basic one, nothing too special. You just put the attachments here, charge it, and away you go. Honestly, I just wanted something to try out. This was only $15 on Timu as opposed to paying $50. Whenever you're starting a new hobby, it's probably a cheaper or a better route to go the cheaper way to get used to it. And then eventually, if I want a better quality one, I might get that from the hardware store. But so far, this looks like it's going to be amazing. It looks pretty good quality. Um, it's probably not charged, so I'm not gonna try it out in this video, but it does look good for the first item. Next, I'm just gonna reach in and see what there is. And this is something for the next item here. I'm not sure if you know what it is just by looking at it, but these are the plastic razor blades. Um, you can get them on Amazon, uh, in your local hardware store. On Amazon, I ordered a pack that had the handle and 10 plastic blades. It was 10 to $12 on Amazon. These here for two of that, so double what I ordered on Amazon for $12. So you get the blue handle and you get 10, sorry, you get two blue handles and you get 20 of these orange plastic blades, which are very useful for our Tumblr business, very useful for getting stickers off of stuff, and a lot of stuff, actually. But this was only $2 on Timu, as opposed to only getting half of this for $12 on Amazon. So stuff like this, and looking at it, it is in great quality. It's the same exact as what I ordered off of Amazon. These just literally pop out and then literally just pop right back in. Very useful. I like that there's a handle. It makes it easier to use. And it's not like the metal blades where you could cut yourself. So this is used for a lot of stuff that I use. And it's nice to have that in my tool chest as well. So one of these I'm going to be giving to my dad just because I didn't need a two pack. But it's a very good quality for only $2 compared to $12 on Amazon. So that to me is crazy. Next item here, let's see. Is this another one, not in the box, but it does have a nice case, nice blue case. Uh, it doesn't really say what it is, so I'm just gonna open it up, see what it is. I literally ordered just a mixture of stuff, some tools, some things that I just needed and I couldn't find elsewhere, and some obviously that were cheaper on Timu. I'm just gonna open the case up here and see what it is. Oh, nice. So this is a knife set that I ordered on Timu. Uh, this one here is only $2. Now the blades are not in anything that's protective, but there is this magnet strip, I believe. It looks like a magnet strip on the top where the blades are. One did fall out here. You can't really see it, but I did order these for our, ooh. One almost slid out there. So I wish the case was a little bit better quality, but I ordered these for our art so I can go and cut the tape and other stuff. And also we can use these for pretty much anything, but it's a nice little cheap knife set and a nice little case. So that's actually really cool. 
That was again, I think $3 on Timu and it's obviously more money in the stores uh, in my area at least. Next item here, I'm gonna go with the biggest box. Just a plain box here, doesn't really say what's inside. So let's open it up and see what we have. Oh, this is one of the things I was really excited for. And that is this big set with multiple different uh, tools, pry tools, different bits. I'm just looking. So what this is, is a big little bits and driver sets. Uh, it also has pry tools and other useful things whenever you're either refurbishing uh, consoles and controllers to virtually anything that you have to take apart. I'm just checking here. It actually does have the security bits in it as well, which I already have a set of security bits, but it's nice to have everything all together. So this is going to be very useful, has literally every kind of bits that you can imagine. The triangle bits that are very rare, uh, they do have the other bits. They have literally everything in here, which just makes me so happy. The fact that it has the security bits is also nice. Xbox is notorious for having the security bits. Also, I think it's uh, the PlayStation 3 you need security bits, so it's nice for that. They do have the little ones as well to help pry. On the other side, we have a list of what is inside, and we do have plastic pry bars. Sometimes if you unscrew the plastics on a controller and you try to pry it apart, it won't go. So you have little pry tools. You have the little uh, screwdriver. You have suction cups. You have everything that you could use in here, including tweezers, which they look like a nice quality tweezer. So this for me is something that's I'm going to find useful and I'm going to make great use out of it because I'm always having to run downstairs and find tools whenever I'm refurbishing or cleaning or fixing a console. So it's nice to have everything all in one. This here was only $11 on Timu, which I think is a great price for what you get. I think it's over a hundred pieces inside. That includes obviously all the individual bits, but they're all the bits that you definitely need and can use for pretty much anything. Next item here is this, it's for the rotary tools. This was only $6. Now I looked up these bits, they're around $45 for the name brand in the store. Whereas this is 105 pieces for only $6 on Timu. It has your different saws, your wire brushes, uh, literally everything that you need. It has all the different cutting saws as well, which is gonna be very useful whenever I do start the um, carvings that I plan on doing very soon. So that was way cheaper and it looked like great quality compared to uh, paying $45 for it in the store. Next items are these two metal signs, which I seen them and I thought for the price of being $5 each, I thought they were gonna be a great item. And looking at them, the quality wise do look pretty cool. And the first one here is this Fallout Shelter sign, which looks amazing. That's gonna be nice for a man cave. They are metal signs, by the way. And for only $5 free shipping, that is awesome. And they came perfect, no damaged. Second one here is a Nuke Cola one which I've been wanting to get the, uh, what is it, the Quantum one. I can't find it anywhere for one for display. So I thought a nice metal sign would be awesome just to hang up or even put on my collector shelf. So those two signs were pretty good. No damage, no dents, no scratches. They look like they're in great condition. That's actually, I was really shocked about that. And the last item in here, which in my opinion is the best for last, these are a 20 piece of the Funko uh, stands. So you can glue your Funkos onto the stand so they stay upright. Certain Funkos in our collection especially, um, the feet, it should have had a stand but not one was included. So some of them topple over sometimes. So I did order off of Amazon and they came to be like two or three centimeters tall. Very, very small. These here are about two inches. It's between my fingers here is the size of one. So that is the right size. I measured them and what we got is actually them. So a 10 piece on Amazon Canada is 
$45. In the US, a 10 piece is around $20. A 20 piece on Timu was only $5, so way cheaper. I couldn't get these sizes anywhere else other than if I wanted a 10 piece for $45, but that was the Funko branded ones. These ones here, generic, they do look white in the package, but they do have the clear film on them, so once you take that off, you can go. I know some people don't like gluing their figures to the stands. We don't mind it. We put a little dab of crazy glue and then the stand makes it sit perfect and it's never gonna topple over. It's actually a great addition. Plus we needed some because we were completely out and some of our Funkos recently have been falling over. So this is awesome that we finally have that so we can fix some of our collectibles from falling over. So overall, the first order from Timu, I must say I'm very impressed. We got everything within two weeks. The prices were cheap. Everything you've seen in this video was $60. That's taxes in. Everything was very handy, good quality, cheaper than Amazon most of the time. Um, and everything I've seen on Timu looks like it's great prices. Obviously, Timu has some more expensive stuff as well. And those I'd be very skeptical on because I'd rather buy a name brand in my area and pay the same price as some of the more expensive stuff. But for what I ordered today, like plastic razors, $12 for a 10 pack on Amazon, whereas a 20 pack on Timu was $2. You can't beat that. They're the same exact ones and same exact quality as the ones that I ordered on Amazon. So everything Thing, in my opinion today is great perfect condition definitely going to be useful and I'm definitely going to be ordering more from Timu plus everything was shipped together so there was no chance of something getting lost and then having to go through returns I remember being doing trying to do returns on wish before it just was not working out because once you do too many returns then they decline it and say you can't do a return because they think that you're faking it and that you never received it but a lot of the stuff just either wasn't coming or it was complete garbage whereas Timu so far this was amazing everything was great quality and definitely worth checking out which I'm going to be doing again so hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you guys in the next one please take care peace